Hi everyone, you're listening to Hobo Sode number 250. This one's brought to you by 4 OCRV Hobos, and it looks like this is Hobo Sode number 250, so it's one that's free for everybody to hear. Usually the Hobo Sodes are a paid perk for being a supporter of the shows, but every 10th Hobo Sode I make it available to the public so you can hopefully see what you're missing, which is basically just, you know, more shows, more pranks, and I don't do voicemails on the Hobo Sodes, at least not often. So today, I don't have a whole lot of time to record, that's why I'm doing a Hobo Sode today instead of a full-size snowplow show. I'm just going to do a prank or two. But I started up a Kickstarter a couple days ago for the new 2020 PLA coins. I just want to bring this up on here because I haven't done a snowplow show. I'm going to try and do one tomorrow, but I haven't done one in the past few days to tell anyone about the coin that I set up on Kickstarter. And it's already been funded. I set up the funding at $1,000. It's surpassed that, so the coins are definitely getting made. I mean, they would have gotten made no matter what. But thanks to you, it's going to be a lot easier to have these done. So look in the show notes, there's a link on Kickstarter to the 2020 PLA coin campaign page. Hi, thank you for calling Townhouses. How can I help you? Hey there, uh, this is Steve Day from Royco's Heating and Cooling. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, he- I'm here at your, uh, your townhouse apartment complex thing here in a uh-huh. tenant's apartment. It, um, I'm going to have to decertify this walk-in freezer that he has uh, created inside his apartment. Uh, just because he's he's got the condensation runoffs going into the wall. What unit are you in? Uh, I'm in 15. What? Okay. Um, I might have my maintenance guy come over there and see what's going on okay well i can't invite you over or anything i'm not the tenant i just work no, for I uh, Roy- royco heating and cooling but they converted an entire bedroom into a walk-in freezer oh my god what so that there's like you know the walls are all metal and there's fans up running oh my god are you kidding me oh my god no i'm not We're... kidding there's there's pallets of beer in oh. here God. And 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 like big hooks with deers hanging from them. Oh wow, that's crazy. Yeah, but the problem is that a, a freezer this size generates a lot of condensation, and he just had it all running off into the walls, so it might affect the other. Yeah, so yeah, might... that's a big deal. I cannot believe. Oh wow, that's. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna come over there right now, sir, and I'll come over there with my maintenance. Um, we we can't invite ourselves in, especially because this is an emergency. Oh well, I don't think you can get in. the The tenant has a you know pretty secure door. There's like a keypad system and everything. Well, it, if anything, we'll just have to probably call the police or something. Oh, don't do that. Like- no, this is just a just a standard walk-in freezer violation. Okay. You know? Um, no, it, this we're a low-income housing property, sir. Uh-huh. Um, like this is for people who you know who can't afford regular rentals. I mean, this is a HUD housing um, Section Eight property. Yeah. Um, so that's what the big. That's why it's a kind of a really big deal that I, I, they I think converted. The- poor people should be able to have free, walk-in freezers too. Like I, I wouldn't mind certifying this. It's just that the condensation's all no. running into the walls. I, yeah, unfortunately, oh. um, they're not allowed to do anything like that to their their bedrooms. You said they converted a bedroom into an actual freezer. Yeah, it's a it's a fully laid out walk in freezer. It, it's like a yeah. negative eighteen degrees in here. And it's the whole entire room. Yeah, yeah, the entire room. I mean, you open yeah, the, you open you the closet, closet, and it's still a closet, but it's pretty cold in there still because they didn't insulate it very well. Did they have to do something special, like construction? Oh, I don't like the. I think so because the walls are completely metal, the floors are concrete, and there's pallets of beer, and yoo-hoo's. And the team uh, turned their room into a freezer, an entire room, into a freezer. Wow. There is a certified. Um, uh, he's a heating specialist. He's over there, and he was just afraid that the condensation from the room is going to go into the other unit, and and that's such a big deal. 
I got to call Jonathan, or can you call Jonathan? And yeah. Oh, don't call Jonathan. Don't, don't call Jonathan while I'm here. Me and him don't get along. Oh, we my have, manager? We, yeah, we have a history. I mean, I can talk to him real quick if you really want. No, I need him over because he's my regional manager, and oh, it, that's, this is a really big deal. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like they may have cut out a wall, too, because, like... They're, you know, they're like one of the walls is. It looks like you're like in a cooler in inside Seven Eleven because there's freezers on the oh. other side and th and those are built into the living room. That's so, so crazy! And, and I the, cannot believe they did that. Yeah, in the living room you can just open up freezers for alcohol and sodas and yuhus and stuff. He said it's just like going into a Seven Eleven and going into a walk-in freezer. They converted a bedroom. That sounds too good. You know what? This is Unit 15. This is the person who hasn't paid rent in years. This they, is what they, the governor they, is doing to us. They, the governor what? <laughs> oh, no. I was talking about maintenance guy. Oh, they, they haven't um, paid their rent in years? Oh, God. I didn't mean for you to hear that. Oh, it's okay. I, I'll pretend <laughs> my lips are sealed. I won't tell a soul. And, um, did... Was there a reason that they called you um, out there today to get it serviced or Oh, that's the weirdest certified. thing. I just Did you hear that just now, the, the door chime? No. Oh, he's got a door chime in here. So when people come in the front door, it, it chimes. It's like ding dong in here. There's like, like an look just like in 7-Eleven. Oh, my God. This is super nuts that this is happening. Okay. And you said here at townhouses, right? Oh yeah, Unit yeah, part 15. fifteen. Yep. <sighs> this is crazy. And it's uh, like I'm looking through the cooler doors out out into the living room, and there's actually customers out there. Out where? I guess. It, can you hold on one second? Yeah, he said. He said when you open the door, it, there's a ding that goes off like you're going into a gas station. Right here in Unit 15. This is crazy. Are you in there? No, we haven't. We haven't gone in there in months. I mean, we went there back in maybe February and March. But this mm -hmm. is a guy that um, we changed his locks for him. He he says that he doesn't think we will be able to get in. This is somebody who hasn't paid rent here in years. I know that. Um, so we haven't been there um, because the stay-at-home order. We haven't had got a reason to go in there. I cannot believe he converted a whole room. I don't think this guy realized. And he Ma'am? 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 Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I was I was listening to about how he hadn't you changed the locks and it's been over a year. Um I I feel so stupid. I I just I I must have Look, I've been taking different meds and everything. I'm actually in a 7-Eleven it turns out. I'm not even at your apartments. I'm inside a 7-Eleven cooler. I thought I was inside a tenant's apartment. What? I'm, I made a mistake. I'm actually inside a convenience store right now. Okay. I, I'm not in your apartments. I, I thought I was in one of your bedrooms. But, no, it turns out I've, I've been doing this inspection at a 7-Eleven. At, at a convenience store, I mean. And, uh, oops, sorry about that. Okay. It's not apartment 15 after all. All right, we'll probably go over there just to triple check it. Okay, well, I mean, it's, you know, I, I am inside a convenience store right now. It's an honest mistake uh, made by, you, you know, like, I, I'm just a contractor for Royco Heating and Cooling. Okay. But oh my gosh, that, okay. that guy in apartment 15 sounds like a, a real jerk, you know? He had to change the locks on him. How did he get back in? Did he change them back? Um, I can't really talk about this. I'm sorry. I didn't mean for you to overhear any of that. I thought you'd put me on hold. Oh, no. I was just walking to the freezer door, and that's while you were talking about all that. That's when I walked out, out of the freezer, and there's the employee restroom, and you know, the breaker boxes, and I'm inside a convenience store. I'm such an idiot. Okay. 
All right. Um, Woo, that was a close one. Probably. I feel like such. I feel like such a dummy. What was that? I feel like such a dummy. <laughs> All right. Um, so I guess if there's no problem. You know, you know, it's the weirdest thing. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be at this convenience store doing an inspection on their freezer because I don't see any paperwork. I might, I might just be, I might, I might just be wandering around their freezer. Okay, uh, we call your your boss then or something. Huh? Where did I put my cell phone? Are you on it? Oh, shit. It's right here in my hand. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You have a good day. Okay. You too. Bye. Enjoy Enjoy going and confirming that there's no deep freeze in Unit 15. What the hell? How did they let somebody live there? Did you hear that? She was trying to blame COVID. Like, we haven't been able to go over there for, for years because of COVID. He hasn't paid his rent in years, and we can't go over there. And maybe he changed the locks? Maybe it wasn't the apartment that changed the locks. On 411.com, it shows me... Well, no, never mind. It shows me, like, five different names of people who live there. But, you know, probably all of them have moved out at this point. But I don't know. He's been there a year. Apparently, rent-free. None of these have phone numbers on them anyway. That was an idea from four OCRV hobos. Or at least one of the four OCRV hobos. He says, I think it'd be a great idea if you called up apartment complexes and told them that you have turned your walk-in closet into a walk-in freezer. I don't know if it froze the pipes or something or leaked all over the floor. You're afraid it's going to go to the tenant below. Let's try calling up an apartment place as the tenant with this. The apartment. Hello, I'm a tenant here at the apartments. Yeah, how can I help you? Uh, well, I've, I've converted one of my bedrooms into a giant walk-in cooler. Mm-hmm. And I was just uh, a little worried about if there might be condensation on the, the neighbors down Yes, uh, yes. So, no, you know better to do that because, yeah, the condensation should be a, a little problem for the other ones. Well, so, I um, think I insulated it well enough, so it, it should be fine. But have you uh, had any complaints? Have you had any complaints from the downstairs neighbors about a bunch of water appearing on their ceiling? Ah, uh, that's what I say. Which apartment is? Because sometimes people don't care. There are some people on the, the, on the other floor, they don't care. So which apartment is? I'm in 328. 328. Oh, shoot. Okay, uh, let me find out because uh, you, you say in the bedroom? Yeah, yeah. I converted the entire bedroom into a big walk-in freezer, just like you see inside of a convenience store. Oh, no. Okay, um, let me call the other guy and see and find out what's going on. But let, let me see too on the on the on the first on the second floor, two twenty eight. What other guy? What other guy? My other construction guy, the the supervisor, the manager, asking about these questions. Okay, let me call my guy and. Uh, Who's see asking? What, uh, Who's asking about what? I don't well, know. You you want me to find out or know the problem in the second bedroom and second floor? Yeah, let well, me let me see. I just wanted to make sure. You know, I I didn't want to. Yeah, that's what I say. Yeah, that's what I say. Let me call my manager. Let Settle me find down. out to the second. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Just let me give me give me okay, a just chance do it, to call just it. Do it on three way. Just do it on three way. I'll listen. Yes. Let me call my manager first, and then let me call the other guy to two twenty eight. Okay. Well, let's call him on three way. What's the number? I'll put him on. The who? I'll put I'll put him on. I'll give me his phone number. I'll put him on with us both. Uh, she's not here right now. She's not working right now. I know. So what's the number? I'll call her. I don't. I, she has a personal phone number. Yeah. Let's hear it. She what is it? Let, let me, let me, let me, maybe she can call you back, okay? Because she's not going to get to the, just let me, let me, uh, um. I don't want to wait. Say, um, I, I'm impatient. Let me call her, okay? And she'll call back. She can call you back, probably, okay? I don't want you talking to my woman. Like, me and her, we're, we're, uh, we're in a relationship. She's the man, yeah, you can explain to her better, okay? Let, let me talk to her. She's, a, she's not working right now, okay? But let me... Let me explain to her. Yeah, Maybe but, she can call back. But she's my girlfriend. I don't want you talking to my girlfriend. Who's your girlfriend? The manager. Your your manager is my girlfriend. I mean, you had her number. Oh no, no, I, I'm I'm I got the right number. I know who my girlfriend is. She works there. Miguel. Yeah. Miguel. Oh, she's not here right now. 
Yeah, we're, we're, like what's her number? Let's let's put her on three way. You grew up in what's right here? Yeah, yeah, it's me, Miguel. Oh, Miguel, she's not here. Brandy's not here right now. Oh. What where where'd she go? Uh lunch, I think. Sorry, Miguel. I'm not all this confused, man. Where'd she go for lunch? I don't know. Shit. We gotta find her. Oh, okay. Uh, what's her number? I forget it. Oh, shoot, I don't have my phone right now with me, so maybe she'll be back pretty soon. Oh, what's the number? Here, I'll call real quick. Okay. What's the number? Oh, I, I, let me go on my phone, okay? Okay. Uh-huh. Hello? Hello. Uh, this is Miguel? Uh-huh. Are you sure you're looking for the, the right person right here in the Castle Creek? Yeah, quick. What's the number? Uh-huh. She said that, I don't know. You, can you wait? Can you call back a little bit? Wow. How, why do I have to wait? I'm, I'm a boyfriend. I shouldn't have to wait. She don't want me to give you a number. Huh? You say, do you live right here in 328? Yeah. Yeah. How'd you know? You say, do you live right here in 328? Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, I'm just a prank caller. He figured it out while I was on hold with him forever. I'm going to cut it all out, but I was on hold with him for a good five minutes, maybe. Enough for him to send some text messages or make a phone call or whatever he had to do. But he figured things out. I didn't see any sense in prolonging that one. Thank you for calling. This is Therese. How can I help you? Hey there, I'm, I'm a tenant here at the apartments. Okay. And um, I just, you know, I converted one of my bedrooms into a, a walk-in cooler a while back, and my Freon levels are low. I was just wondering if anyone's complained about Freon uh, leaking out of their walls or ceilings. What apartment do we live in? I'm in 209. Okay, now this is Washington, are you do you live here in Washington? Yeah, yeah, I just have a phone number from out of state. Okay, and you live in 209. What alphabet? A B C D B B. Okay, and your name? Roy. Okay, and so you're wanting you converted your one of your bedrooms into a cooler? Yeah, just into a big walk-in cooler. So, like, the whole bedroom, like, the walls are all metal, and there's big fans running, big loud fans. And, you know, it's got one of those cooler doors where you have to, you know, the big latch and everything. Like, I went all out on it. But, you know, there's a, a whole system of Freon pipes all around it. And um, I, I may have, like, not tightened one of those up completely. I just wanted to make sure nobody Can complained. Uh, okay. Did you get permission to do this walk-in cooler? No, no, I didn't. I didn't see anything against it in the rules, so it's fine and everything. I just, I might have to like open up uh, part of the wall in the living room to get to the pipes behind the the metal walls in the bedroom. I don't think you can do that. That's that's violating your lease. Can we have one of our maintenance guys go well, up there and check I'll, it out? I'll put the drywall back and I'll I'll patch it all up. And, and it, it'll be good what apartments me. do you, do you live in again? Uh, okay, because yeah, because no, you can't be building and putting stuff like that in 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 the unit. Oh well, it's too late. I've already done it. I, I had well, to. I had to get a whole. Sounds I, like you've done it. Yeah, I had to get a whole new electrical panel. I had the electric company come out and and install a you know a, a big like one of those giant panels like you see in a convenience store. And I'm keeping deer meat in there. <laughs> oh okay okay I, um okay yeah we we need to so I, I, we're gonna have to probably contact the people down below to see if anything is leaking so but you can't be i asked them they just looked at me holes. weird yeah i'm sorry go ahead the resident down below you looked at you weird well i asked them i'm like hey has there been any green fluid leaking from your ceiling um and they said they just looked at me weird and kept walking to their car. 
Okay, so can we get a maintenance guy up there to take a look and see? So, I well, mean, well, is he trained in, um, like, is he certified in uh, refrigeration maintenance and repair? Like, does he's he have in a, maintenance repair? I, 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 I just fill in here, so I don't know what kind of qualifications the maintenance guy has. Oh, there, so, there's a specific um, uh, license he needs to be able to take a look at my refrigerator. Um, there, there's a lot of paperwork I had to fill out to have this done. So they're, they're very strict about it. I don't want to break any laws by having the maintenance guy come in. Okay, but the paperwork, is it in your file as well that you were approved to do all this to change our electrical oh, plan? Oh, yeah. I, just, I can't have a, a person that's not licensed as an AC repairman to uh, you know come in and just okay. start monkeying around with the controls. They, they might release even more Freon. Look what I've done. Okay, so I, I don't, uh, I'm what's not your last name, Roy? By the way, and 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 a, and a phone number to where I can get a hold of you. Uh, it's Zerbel. Okay, and a phone number. Four three three two. Okay, I'm. We're gonna have to see if we can get downstairs to look to see if anything's going wrong in their unit. Um, see if there's any damage. If you think you got a leak going on, well, and then, I, I'm, um, I'm not. I'm, I'm, it might not be, maybe it's just evaporating. I just have it all, you know, I have the reservoir in my bathtub. Maybe, maybe that's where it's all going. It's probably, does Freon evaporate? Do you know that? Do you know? I, I don't know. Oh, okay. I have a, a Freon reservoir in my bathtub. So maybe it's evaporating. I, I don't know, but I don't think Freon should be going down a tank, uh, down, 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 down a drain. That could damage and hurt the drain. Freon shouldn't go down drains. Oh, no, I, I wouldn't let it out of the bathtub drain. It, it's just cycling through there. It's just to keep it cool. I made a, a homemade uh, Freon system, you know, using the, the, you know, plumbing, the toilet and the bathtub and just so we could have the walk-in cooler. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't know. Well, I'll have to find out down below to see if anything is damaged or. All right. So that's what you're kind of wanting us to know is to see if there's anything that is damaged yeah. down below. If yeah, there's a leak. It's probably fine. I'm just being paranoid. I've been smoking a lot of weed lately. Um, okay. Has anyone else in the complex complained about having crop circles in their carpet? No, they haven't. So it's just me. Weird. Yeah, yeah. No, no crop circles. In the carpet, not, not, not. No, no, no. Yeah, no, no, no crop crop circles in carpet. Okay. All right. Um. Basically, I don't think. I think I figured it out. I, it must be evaporating. I need to put. I need to uh, put a heavy duty uh, sealant around the top of the bathtub and then close it like a tank. The bathtub is going to become a tank. I don't think you want to put the bathtub into a tank. No, no, the bathtub Why don't you will. See if our, will one of our guys can. I'll, I'll put another help bath, you out. bathtub on top of the bathtub, and then I'll, I'll put some heavy du duty seal around it, and then I'll have like two bathtubs worth of Freon, because there'll be one on top of the other. Uh, you you can't you can't do that. That's what? not you're on the second floor. You it's going to be too much weight. Oh, well, no, it's just a bathtub. It, those new fiberglass bathtubs, bathtub's they're, they're so... No, nah. yeah. you, you probably, you probably yeah. tried to carry a cast iron bathtub like a dummy. Well, I've done that too, and they're... Excuse me? Nothing. Okay, well, I'm going to do some investigating, and I'll give you a call back. Oh, don't investigate anything. Don't, don't take it that far. Jeez, you're making it weird. Well, I... I need to know if it's leaking. That's the investigating. I, I need to know if it's I, leaking downstairs, and then I can let you know. I think we determined so we that it's it, it's probably just evaporating because it is very hot in the bathroom uh, because of the, the the fans and everything. Because the the exhaust all vents into the bathroom, and then I just have a fan at the bathroom window pointing out. And there's I, no fan in the wind. There's no there's no window in the bathrooms. Um, I actually had to kind of make one. I, in our I, bathroom? Yeah, yeah, there's a, 
there there's a window outside one of the bathrooms now. Okay. I, I did it. I did it in a way where it, it's it appears camouflage unless you're really looking for it. Okay. I just need to put a fan up. All right. Okay. Well, I'm still going to make sure that we're not leaking underneath. Okay. That's a good idea. Okay. Uh huh. And I want to make sure there's no crop circles in their carpet. Yeah, that's uh, important as well. Yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. All right. Bye, honey. Okay. Have a nice okay. day. See you later. All right. Bye. You too. No, all you. Right, bye. You don't talk to me like that, lady. I did not like that at all. So somebody has been trying to call me throughout that last call just now, and they are calling right now. So I'm going to pick up. Hello. Hello. Hey. How you doing? Good. Good. Yeah. Why you call me? Uh, it's just a prank call. It's prank making a prank phone call to you. Oh, okay. That's all. But if, if, if I start doing okay, please. Oh no, I won't. I won't ever prank you again. I only prank people one time. Okay, it looks like I am getting a call from a different number this time. Let's see who this is. Hello. Um, hi, who is this? Huh? I'm sorry, who is this? Oh, my name is Roy. Roy. Yes. Can I help you with something? Uh, no, you called me. What do you need? Yeah, I know. This number called my office and was asking for me. Oh, uh, is is your boyfriend's name Miguel? Um, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, that was me. I was calling to let you know that I had, um, converted my apartment, um, my bedroom into a, a cooler. Okay. You know, into a walk-in cooler. So, like, the walls are all metal, and there's loud fans in there. And there's a complicated network of Freon pipes in the walls now. Okay. And my Freon levels keep getting low. Have you noticed any Freon leaks? Like, has any other apartments complained about Freon Freon coming through the ceiling? Um, I'm sorry, what does this have to do with... Um, what apartment are you in? Um, two, two, 231. Um, yep, so, like, has has anyone complained about Freon leaks? It would just be like a, uh, you know, like a green, green fluid coming through the drywall. That's all. Um, I'm sorry, but you're not in 231. Who is this, and what do you, what do you want? I don't understand why you're calling. What do you mean I'm not in 231? I'm not in there now. I know that, but your name is not on the lease. Yeah, well, I wouldn't be on the, I, 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 w- I, I wouldn't be in the computer. I just sleep on the couch. What? What are you snapping your fingers for, and why did you put me on speakerphone? Who is this guy? Let me call the cop, because she told me here. What? No, she called me, sir. I, I no, said, you call me first. Well, I, I, sir, I said oh. I wouldn't call back, but she called me. Don't get up. Don't get up. Don't get up. You shut up, sir. Don't get up. Don't get up. What do you want? I don't want anything. She called me. You called me first. You called this company first. No, what, Mi- what's your problem, man? Miguel's girlfriend called me. So I just answered the phone. That's all. Durr. It's, you call first. Why you, what do you want this company, man? No, I didn't call back. Miguel's girlfriend called me. The apartment manager called me. Right, apartment manager? No, she's not, uh, not a, Miguel's girlfriend is not a manager. You're wrong, man. I'm, I'm wrong? She didn't just call me? You called first. What do you want? She said, what do you want? No, no, no. Look, look, look at her, uh, look at her telephone and you'll, no, no, you'll no. see you that. No, 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 you called first. You, she just called you back because you called first. What oh, do you want? Oh, yeah, yeah, I called first. Um, I called to make a prank call. Why? Why? Why can't she just ask me herself instead of prompting you to ask questions tell her to pull up her pants and be okay. a man. so what do you what do you want what do you want do you live in 
Nothing. I want you guys to stop calling me. Stop harassing no, me. No, no, no. You call Fizz. Do I, you live in... Yeah, I just called once, and, and you guys just keep harassing me with phone calls. You keep calling me oh. back. Just please stop. Come on. No, stop. Just... You call Fizz. That's why we call back, because you're asking. Do you say you live in... Look, I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to enjoy my Monday. I'm I'm watching a little television, and you guys keep harassing me with phone calls. Please stop. Well, please stop because you call me first. You asking. You call me first. You said that you're living okay. in three twenty eight. But I I called you first. That's that's like um something a grade schooler would say. Like you started it. Eh. Just stop calling me. Hello? Just leave me alone. It's just a prank call, jeez. Just please start calling this company, please, okay? You called me. You called my they phone. My phone rang. Calling. You're asking for people that, that you live in here, so please, please stop please, calling us. Please just stop calling me. Please stop calling no, you me. Call, you call me first as well. Just leave me alone. Just stop bothering me. Do you hear that? Just hang up and don't call back. You Le don't call back. You leave, me, you don't leave, leave me alone. Please. Leave me alone. You're harassing you leave me. me. Alone. I'm not bothering you. You're calling me. My phone rang. You call fair, sir. I you just, say that you live in one five and three twenty eight. I just called you one time like an hour ago. Like stop calling me. No, no, me. that was five minutes ago. That's why we call you back. Oh, see, oh, oh. So suddenly it turns out you're lying. You did call me back. No, but the other phone, not this phone. You call again at this phone. No, you, you just you just admitted that you're lying. You are a liar. I did not call you. You called me. Please stop okay, calling sir, me. So please, call please back. Leave, you don't even call. Don't call back. Leave me alone. Hello, um, I'm interested in uh, renting an apartment. What are you looking for? Uh, maybe a two bedroom, and possibly for you to stop calling me. Stop, you know, leave me alone. Uh, I'm just, I'm like, stop making prank calls to me. You're harassing me. What? You picked up the wrong line, dummy. You picked up the wrong extension. You picked up me. Okay, so I, I think that's a good way to end today's show. If they don't call me back, that is, and interrupt my outro here. Thank you for OCRV Hobos for sponsoring today's show and for today's show idea i'm gonna have to try that one again someday because really i should be uh you know figuring covid19 into this somehow be like you know the world's coming into an end right so that's why i'm setting up a walk-in cooler in my apartment i don't want to have to go to the grocery store that often and catch covid from somebody so yeah i'll definitely come back to that one thanks again for ocrv hobos and thanks all of you for listening today don't forget to check out the Kickstarter for the PLA coin. It's in the show notes. Go look in the description. Click on that. Decide whether or not you want a PLA coin. By the way, once these are finished and once I've shipped them out, I'm going to turn my full attention to the PLA vinyl record. I really want that to happen this year. So try to be excited for that too. I might set up another Kickstarter for that. Or I might just do it alone. I don't know. But vinyl record coming soon. Hopefully this year.